We are here at Vista Hermosa Park to celebrate the bill signing of Senate Bill 32 and Assembly Bill 197. Those are our two climate change bills that extend the target for climate change for uh, emissions reductions uh, until 2030. This is a big, big deal because these will really set the, the benchmark for how much we're going to reduce uh, pollution in our state, greenhouse gases in our state, and at the same time we're doing it in this area of Los Angeles to tell people that uh, environmental policy is also um, community policy. It means, it means that we're going to help every part of our state poor and not with the necessary resources that they need to combat climate change and make sure that they have clean air and clean water. So this is a big deal. These two bills were signed by Governor Jerry Brown with uh, Senate Pro Temp uh, Kevin DeLeon as well as Assembly Speaker Rendon and the authors of the bill, Senator Pham Pavley as well as uh, Assembly Member Eduardo Garcia. To have it in my district, it tells people that environmental justice issues are now environmental policy issues in general. It means that the east side of Los Angeles, as well as the disadvantaged communities throughout the state, um, matter to everyone. And not just, these policies are not just for the folks that live on the west side or on the beaches or in the pristine lands. These are urban policies for urban people and rural people. So we're working, um, uh, I think having it here really sends that message. I worked on a bill in combination with uh, SB 32 and AB 197, AB 1550 that we believe will be signed, will target more resources to disadvantaged communities, the kind of the communities that we're in now, the kind of communities that uh, Assembly Speaker Rendon represents, as well as Assembly Member Garcia. So we know that this is kind of a, the, the first step um, on a long journey to make sure that we have climate equity in California.